Distinguished delegates and participants, good afternoon. I congratulate the Energy Market Authority of Singapore and the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, in convening this timely high-level forum. I thank you for the opportunity to address the first session on mobilizing investment to support energy transition. Facilitating an effective, inclusive and just energy transition is a diverse, in a diverse developing region such as ASEAN is not an easy task. The region has historically leaned on fossil fuel for its growing energy needs, but is now facing mountain costs of disrupted climate and the need to adapt. Nonetheless, we have collectively set ambitious energy intensity and renewable energy targets relative to our current capabilities and resources under the ASEAN Plan of Action for Energy Cooperation. This was reinforced by our energy ministers adopting last month the Bandasri Begawan Joint Declaration of Energy Security and Energy Transition, which expressed ASEAN's future intent to explore an, an aspirational long-term regional target towards lower emission energy systems. ASEAN surpassed its energy intensity reduction target for 2020, and we are more than halfway our aspirational 2025 target for renewable energy share. We also continue to increase our cost to renewable energy with 82% of ASEAN new power's capacity addition in 2020, deriving from renewable, en renewable energy. Yet much remains to be done. The work to mobilize investment in financing, access and deploy cross-competitive technologies and acquire the technical capacity to support clean energy transformation remains a work in progress. I highlight, I highlight two items for the discussion. The need to improve investment environment for energy transition and to expand beyond our current sources of finance. ASEAN is estimated to require US $367 billion just to achieve its 35 RE share target for installed power capacity 2025. This is just a fraction of the region's requirement in the next five years. The forthcoming seven ASEAN Energy Outlook and the second ASEAN Renewable Energy Outlook will likely confirm the unprecedented magnitude of overall energy requirements and the need to mitigate high financing costs and ensure adequate finance. The costs of mature RE technologies have declined elsewhere, but high financing costs coupled with the supply intermittency and yet to evolve energy storage cap capabilities still translate to expensive electricity. By IAEA's estimate, the developing world will need to increase the annual clean energy investment from less than US $150 billion in 2020 to over US $1 trillion by 2030 to put the world on track to reach net zero emission by 2050. And yet, financing costs in the developing world are ex effectively seven times more expensive. If materialized, the US $100 billion per year climate finance pledged by developed countries under Paris Agreement could bolster efforts towards an inclusive and just energy transition. ASEAN is determined to face these challenges holistically and across multiple fronts. We anticipate support from key enabling sector or policy areas such as finance, investment and industrial policy, standards and conformance, transport, agriculture, environment and climate.
These include, for instance, the initiative by the ASEAN Finance Minister and Central Bank Governors to develop a common language for financing green and sustainable initiative to the ongoing ASEAN Taxonomy for Sustainable Finance. Efforts are also underway to enhance carbon pricing instrument in the region. Initially, through the development of measurement, reporting and verification system done in parallel with some member states, efforts to establish the carbon pricing policies and or trading mechanisms. The detailed work to build public policy support and develop partnership with the private sector that will ramp up sustainable energy investment need to proceed in earnest now. I encourage by everyone's resolve to virtually convince today to take further stride in shaping an inclusive and just energy transition. I wish you a most successful day. Thank you very much.